Hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to demonstrate how we can um, design a very simple search uh, for your within your own site but we're not going to design a completely new independent search engine or anything we're going to utilize the search function of Google and then we're going to search within our own site I think it's a very simple, easy and very basic so okay, now let's just start okay so I want to have a folder which is not Core tutorial, nothing in here yet. Okay, and now I'm gonna just create from scratch, from scratch with an in index.html. And then, all right, now we have it, and we're gonna do the uh, exclamation mark and tap so that we got something like this. We're gonna say something like um, search, search your site. That's all right, just for the title. Um, I probably want to use some styling bootstrap so it's very very straightforward so just go to uh, bootstrap my CDN and you know just grab this quickly and pat it in so pat it in the wrong um, so, oh good now the next thing we're going to do is to to design our search you know very simple one so we're gonna have container fluid um, something like that and we're gonna have the h4 saying something like such this site now you can use whatever site you're gonna use but just imagine that the site we are searching is Gutenberg um, And the reason is that this site have a lot of you know like open source documents so we're gonna use that in an example but then we don't need this one just because by default is already sufficient um, and then we're gonna have the class which is something like margin top five All right save it and um, let's try to open um, our okay I'll just bring it here oops this one is like the new tab all right it doesn't let me to march another one anyway I will just leave it here for now next thing we want to do is that we're gonna have a form okay I'm gonna have a form Um, we probably don't need the action here we would need a class uh, we're gonna do the D flex um, this is just for align the content inside we're gonna have input text with ID um, keyword keyword Alright, and come from clad from control and you to um, type search in placeholder. Uh, we're going to say search this site da 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 in. Um, that's pretty much. Then next, uh, what are we gonna do? We're gonna have the um, a class called button um, class btn b btn what um, btn success. And then type type submit. Okay, and we're just gonna have the on click equal. We we leave the on click here for now, but when I click save, you can see that right now we have 
some like this and the link here we can just type um, search now we, we get us something like this all, right, all good so we have something like that now if I click novel here and I click search nothing going on yet all right now next thing for us to do um, because I to do the map is to Java, JavaScript okay so I'm going to do a simple script and here we're going to have the function called um, search site or name whatever you feel like naming it uh, we're going to have an X in we're going to say document um, get element by ID in this case we want to get keyword which is the one that the end the user input and we got the value of it okay um, next thing we're gonna have a cont uh, url um, start so we're gonna do something like this Okay, and then we're gonna end. Um, I'll just type it in, pass it in now, and I will explain what it means later. Uh, but anyway, it's it's pretty basic and simple. So uh, we, I'm just passing it in f to be quick. All right, so I'll explain a bit why we have the two. Okay. Um, this is the start, this is the end, and this is the keyword. So, URL is equal URL S plus X plus URL E. And we got URL win. Windows open URL so okay um lastly lastly wind focus all right I'll just um go ahead and, and explain what's going on here so for example you're gonna do this simple search for example so we got Gutenberg and Oak. Okay. Um, again, we're not gonna we're not, we're not going to design an independent search. We're gonna use a Google search for this. So imagine I want to search for the word. Um, uh, what's it a name? Novel. I just say novel. Okay. And I just type site and then Gutenberg .org. So um, this is for those who don't know it yet. But for those who already know it, then it's pretty basic. You're gonna start to search for the the keyword novel, um, and then from this side. All right. So this is where the logic is. It's all about. So you can replace this one with any site, and then Google will search that specific site using this keyword. All right. So it's pretty straightforward. Now what we're gonna do is to modify the URL. Okay, that's why I said we won't design some an independent research because I think it is unnecessary to do so. Now, our job is pretty basic. It just identify where is the keyword. The keyword is right here, and then Gutenberg. This is the um, the website address, and the rest um, the rest is it should be something like. The rest doesn't really important. The rest should be the same. Just copy that. All right. I guess you're gonna have to do it on your own Chrome because it seems like they they're actually using some sort of um the, the version of your Chrome. 
so probably you can't just copy what I'm, I'm you know, put in here. Um, it's probably you have to uh, use your own, okay? But that's the idea. Now, what we do, what we are doing here is to split this URL into different parts. The first part uh, from before the keyword, and then keyword here, which is X, and then the ending of it is like this. What you all need to do is just to replace the end with the end your ending URL with instead of this side, just replace it with your own side. Alright? And that's it. And when we combine the like we split the URL in different parts and then we just combine it together like this. Okay, now we have a function called such side. Now when we go back to our um, button here on click or say such site okay is the function all right and we save it now except for this I think our simple word inside search is ready but let's just try that refresh it first and I will search normal and click on it okay now click okay let me try to figure out what is going on here all right so um i think it's a problem here it should be window not not like this so that's why it doesn't work but uh, now i fixed that and now if you search for normal here and you click on such and it will show you a list of um, you know a list of results um with the word no novel within you know only the page on from only the website Gutenberg all right so you can actually implement a very simple and easy search into your own site and we can create some you know something like search within our own site okay um hopefully you've um, you find this tutorial useful and uh, thank you for watching see you in the next video bye for now